no one stands toe to toe with Hagel. No one. Hagel was a beast in the ring. He was one of the guys who was in the best shape 100% of the time. You know, he was so disciplined. That was the thing that I always got out of watching him. It wasn't that he was so wild. He was so mentally strong. He had an iron chin, and his discipline was um, impeccable. His, his, he was just constantly training, never out of shape, never got fat, always doing sit-ups and push-ups. He was a and ferocious machine. animal, right? So his body? Yeah. Oh, he was chiseled. He was a machine. I can't think about it. Gotta do it. Who's the chair? Ha! I'm the chair. This is my judge right here, my bidders. If you wanna bet on this, this is K and this is O. I think I'm gonna surprise the world. I'm gonna shake the world that night. Cause I'm out there to rip his head off. I got H-U-R-T written in my mind. That means I'm gonna destruct and destroy. That's what I feel. War. That's what's on my mind. I'm kinda tired of all this talking and everything. I'm just gonna tell you this. I'm gonna knock him out. That's all it is to it, and that's the bottom line. It's not the point of who hits harder. It's what you got behind the punch. Sometimes you gotta go into the fire to really meld, to really forge that sword. You want a sword of steel that will stand up, that will not break in combat, no matter how difficult that combat is, well, you have to forge it in fire. Hagler forged himself in fire, and he was the man of steel. I just want to be remembered as one of the best. Not necessarily the greatest, but one of the best. Give the kids something to imitate me.